Hey, Jeff Love here from Alternative Heating and Supplies. Today I'm going to do a real quick video, and I got this question asked me the other day is, how do these plate exchangers work? And I realized I never really explained it. it it's, it's, uh, it's very, very simple to understand. And what I did here is a very rudimentary picture here, and I hope it, it makes sense. And it's a plate exchanger with the ports facing up. Um, and in this case, this is a four plate heat exchanger for this drawing. So basically what the water does is the green water, or the green color, is going into the plate exchanger and let's say this, the green is the boiler side of, a, uh, of the wood boiler. And so the water will go in between the top plate and the bottom, or the first plate, and it will flow through this way and go through the whole plate exchanger. That's called surface area in a plate exchanger. Then the water that it's heating will come in and go underneath the plate that that's doing and then back out. And then again, it goes down through and it goes into the third plate, the green. And then the orange again goes from the second to the, to the fourth. So it's basically the example that I use is like shaking someone's hand. If your hand's warm and you shake someone's hand who's cold, the blood that's in your hand is never gonna touch their blood because you got the skin, which is like the plate exchangers, and your warm hand will warm up their cold hand or vice versa. It will actually work. Um, their hand will cool your hand while your hand's warming theirs, if that makes sense. And that's really all there is in a plate exchanger. And the plates are determined on the surface area. So for example, if you're heating something that needs a lot more heating capacity or a higher BTU rating or, or some of that, that's why you add more plates, which give you more surface area and it gives you a more contact with the blood to blood contact via a handshake or something. So again, a per cold person's hand uh, that you shake will warm up, but if you take your other hand and put it on the other side, it's gonna warm up faster because you got more surface area on their hand, which will warm it up quicker. That is the basic fundamentals of how plate exchangers work. It is just that simple. And I just wanted to simplify it a little bit because I wanted everybody to know that plate exchangers are made differently. Some plate exchangers, they will have a, a tighter gap between the waters. The plate exchanger thinness, the metal between the two plates will be thinner or thicker depending on the application. And also they make a waffle design to, turb, uh, to um, uh, which creates the water to make it uh, termulate. Uh, ter <laughs> to make the water, you know, um, oh my God. <laughs> what can I say? Big turbulence. You know, on the plate exchangers, they'll make a waffle design, which will call, cause turbulence in the water, in the plate exchanger to give it more, um, more flow and more exchange. Um, so that's the reason they do that. So these designs are all different. The plate exchangers that I sell, which are the Dragon plate exchangers, I've made them specifically for our industry, which is the wood boiler industry. My plates are a little further apart and the, the metal in between the plate exchanger is a little thicker. Now the reason I did that is the thicker plate hurts my exchange rate. However, it does make longevity of the plate exchangers because what happens with these wood boilers is you get sediment and stuff that's in them. So it's actually pumping water with uh, sediment in it, which is acting like a sandblasting effect when it goes down and hits this and then turns and then goes up. It's actually pounding on the steel, which eventually wears out the steel on the inside of the plate exchangers. So these are the basic fundamentals. There's a lot more variables to this, but that's the basics of how a plate exchanger works. And I hope my explanations helped you. And I, I, I'm doing the best I can for something that can sometimes become quite complicated. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and hit the subscribe button and I'm gonna keep on subscribing. Yeah. Wow, I can't talk. Hit the So give me a thumbs up if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, and I'll keep on putting out new videos. I would love to hear video ideas. So if you wanna hear about something, put it in the bottom, and I appreciate the input. Thank you guys, and have a great heating season. And all you haters out there, <laughs> I don't wanna hear from you. <laughs>